Hey everybody, it's Marco from Analog Things, and today we're gonna talk about the ResiVoot Instant Lab Pack for my Mamiya camera. It doesn't need to be an RB67, it could also be a Mamiya Press. But we're gonna jump into it right now. Let's talk about what we have here. This one is the ResiVoot. I still don't know how to pronounce their name. <laughs> Back for the Instant Lab. And it's actually a really nice invention. That little thing is actually amazing. You can put it on your Mamiya RB67 and take Instant, like Polaroid Originals, film into your medium format camera or into Universal Press cameras. These cameras are superior to every Polaroid camera because they have really good lenses, like amazingly sharp. They are manual control. They're just like, the lenses are beautiful. But what are the downsides and why would you actually need to get one of these? And did this stuff exist before? Yes, it did. Polaroid produced an integral back, which was called the CB70, if you like, don't hold me accountable on the right name now, which is an integral back form produced, kind of like the Instant Lab, I would say. It's made for a medicinal field, so um, there were some cameras, like microscopic cameras or stuff like that, where you could put that on and you could just immediately take your instant shots. Nowadays, if we go into the in that field of like medicine or dentist or anything, we have everything in digital world. But like in former times, it was really common to use Polaroids because you got your results pretty fast. You didn't need to develop anything, and even like these um, eight by ten pictures they were a lot of x-rays like actually you can get a lot of x-ray processors for 8x10 and that's where they were actually used before unfortunately i don't have my mamiya press here uh, it's or i have a mamiya universal which is kind of the same and it's a friend of mine and he lent me his mint camera to test so like we switched over cameras and i don't have it here right now but i tested that beautiful back here with the nice mamiya rb67 which is an amazing camera so, so why would you get one of these I guess if you're watching that video, <laughs> you're more of the advanced view, like user maybe of Polaroid or you want to get better in your photography. And with that little helper or like that back, you definitely can get more out of your images. You can shoot manual, which is an amazing factor. Like considering photography um, and the S670, which is a superior Polaroid camera or the SLR 690s, but they're all automatic cameras. And that's the problem. Automatic cameras, you're always limited in the function like do I want a nice bokeh in the back or not uh, you can't like control that with the 670 if you're not having the mint camera or the open s670 camera these two give you a lot of manual functions but also the aperture control is not given on both so that's a downside and that one we have with our little brick here that's the rb67 with that one this one we have all the controls we want it has this beautiful viewfinder the rb67 gives you a lot of options it has really nice lenses for portraits and let me just grab that one image here i did a few images with the camera I didn't have too much time to test it around but what i already did was super nice so this one was a test where i had the back on the wrong way um, but i just wanted to see how the contrast and everything worked out so really nice shot and it shows you already how good the controls are and then I did some portraits of a friend of mine. They turn out really nice. So you can take some amazing shots. But the downside is if you use that adapter with the RB67, you're getting a little frame around the image. We see that really strong on this image here. So like here you can see you have that little black frame. You can use that as a kind of style, but it could be annoying for some people like to have that black border around. I totally understand that. But if you use that back with the Mamiya Universal or Press, completely covers the image and gives you really great results. There's a lot of people like doing mods like that and um, ResiVote just based it on that Instant Lab, um, which is in my opinion a really good idea. I hope they kind of adapt their design to use the One Step 2. Like the Instant Lab is kind of hard to get at the moment. So for the people that don't know what the Instant Lab is, the Instant Lab was developed by Impossible for like that's what was before Polaroid Originals, the name of the company, and they produced an how do we say, an enlarger to copy your digital images or actually print your digital images onto an analog medium. So you had your phone, you put it on top of the Instant Lab. Um, it was, I think the first version was on the iPhone. So you put it on top of the Instant Lab, you had like this little tower that you extend, and then you could just like expose your image on, on Polaroid and get it ejected. In my opinion, 
horrible idea. <laughs> I don't like that way of going digital to analog. From analog to digital, yeah, well, that's that's one point. But going like the digital way, like of a crappy phone photo onto a Polaroid, is not my ideal solution. Also, the the concept behind it wasn't that ideal and the lens wasn't too good but you can get some really cool results and a lot of artists use it for their work it could lead some of you in the wrong way or like see, thinking people can make amazing pictures with polar cameras which they can't because they used actually like digital images or digital cameras and exposed it on a polaroid but it's it's a nice idea to play with double exposures and stuff like that with the instant lab so what we did was we disassembled the instant lab and unfortunately I filmed that already and I assembled everything and like the camera up here was out of focus so I, I would need to reshoot everything but I'm too busy at the moment like with my girlfriend moving in next week it's like no chance I can do that. So you maybe have some here here somewhere down below um, there's some little window which shows you how the process works while I'm talking. So continuing that process, we disassembled the instant lab and put out some parts and then we have that really nice set from Resivol, which is amazing. Everything is there, it's really good build quality and um, you have the brackets, so like everything is here. You get that little plastic here that's in front, you get the metal and everything and then you have like the, there's a little wire you need to connect, it's a flat wire. Every, like stuff every person can do, it's not, not too hard, you just put in some screws everything is there, you just need a, a regular screwdriver and you're ready to go. So the screwdriver should be a really fine one, it's not the regular screwdriver, but if you have that, you're fine to go. And then when you're ready, you can take your back, you can take your camera, so let me just unlock that. So that's the roll film back. So the roll film back is down, you can put that away. And now we can unlock the mounting mechanism, that's this part here. This one connects the roll film with the camera and then we have to bear camera back. And why do these black borders like get to your images because you have like these bl like little frame here and that's actually the maximum size so if you compare it to your polaroid it's really hard to expose the whole image and then we have to think about something every polaroid camera has a mirror inside and that's because the image needs to be mirrored so every image you take with that camera is actually mirrored that's the thing you have to keep in mind um, even if you put it upside down it's still a mirrored image so this pack is actually for the mia universal and how to use it on your rp67 it's pretty easy that's a P adapter, this one here, it's a P adapter. If you have one of these, it's super easy. Maybe you have a, a Polaroid back for your Mamiya 67, like RB67, and that Polaroid back normally has that adapter, the P adapter. If not, you can find them really cheap on eBay for 30 euros, or you buy the whole Polaroid back and they are also not that expensive. Maybe they get more expensive with the like safe pack from campaign right now. But yeah, what can we do? We have our P adapter mounted to our Resivolt instant lab back, just put it on the camera, close the locking mechanism in the back and it's stable. It's there. Camera is a little bulky in the back now, but you're still able to shoot nicely with your viewfinder and you're ready to go. Then we take an image, we expose whatever you want and we throw out the image. That's pretty cool. So let's take an image of our camera here. Then we need to move out the dark slide. That's here. So that's a part that's necessary because um, maybe that's one point why they don't use the, the uh, one step two because that doesn't have a dark slide. That's the really good thing of the instant lab. It has a dark slide inside. It's actually just some metal so it would be easy to produce. When you open you can frame your image again. Again. Now we have the image. I put in the dark slide again just to be on the safe side goes back in and then I just press the button here and it was raw the image. Uh, looks like I already emptied that package. To reload it we just have to open it up which is really nice because you can do that while the camera is like while the back is mounted you can just like pull that out, empty pack, take our test pack, put that inside, close it and because that's an instant lab just the button and the image comes out. So a really amazing thing if you want to shoot on a different level. If you're already having a, a mint manual camera for the S670 or like or an open S670 mount of your S670, you're kind of fine. But like that gives you a completely new level of photography. Medium format cameras are amazing, especially the RB67, I love it. But using that with that or getting my universal press and like shooting like whole coverage, which is like what I want to do soon. 
is like completely different beast. So I hope you like that thing. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. They have like the, the regular one at for sale already. So you just head over to the website. It will be linked in the description below. And they're currently working on an RB67 only bag. That will be full aluminum, if I'm not mistaken. The regular mount, so you don't need the P adapter. I think that should come out next year, but like stay tuned on their website. They will for sure announce it. So check out their products. That's not all they have. They also have some other stuff. And like what I also got is like back there on the shelf. is a ground glass for my uh, Graflex. And we will take a look at that pretty soon. And yeah, they have some other stuff too. Check their website out. I hope you liked that video. Um, I'm pretty busy <laughs> at the moment. Sorry for the, for like everything. Uh, but like next year will be a new start. And I will have more time for unlock things. And I hope to see you there. So I hope you liked that video. If you did, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. And I hope to see you next week. Bye.